عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my beautiful followers, subscribers, friends hi it's your girl Mimi happy aka Mimi in the house it's Wednesday Wednesday it's Wednesday and it's story time well 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 last week I had a story about my fear of failure too bad the video was not that good because I filmed too long it was like more than 30 minutes nobody have now time for 30 minutes or more everyone have time maybe max 10 minutes 15 minutes ah all right if the if the story is juicy then they stay and listen 30 minutes but there was this was more than 30 minutes and the worst case was the worst part you could hear my aquarium water so the whole video you hear if you know what I mean yep well I thought you know what the story is okay it has to be done it has to be tell told and I was into it I was like ah never mind I will just leave it but I checked it out again it was disturbing me so I understand if y'all disturb it if you all are disturbed because of that I understand and I'm sorry for that so I thought let me make the next video with no aquarium sound today the fishes are like wow where's the sound I put the water the filter all the way down so you don't hear it it's quiet now and the fishes are swimming around they're happy So everyone is happy, Mimi happy, they are happy, everyone is happy. Well, mm, today, what do I have for you guys? Today, I'm going to tell you a story about... Let me ask you first, where is home? Where are you from? What is your origin? Where, where did you come from? Where are your parents from? Oh, you have an accent. Are you not from here? Where are you from? That's the question that I ask, I get asked a lot, almost every day. Okay, if I was blonde, um, with uh, colored eyes, no hijab, no one will ask me that question. But, because I am different, I got that questions. Okay, I understand, some people are interested to know where you're from. Yeah, because they have interest in that. But some people, mm -hmm, some people people they're sneaky yes they ask you where are you from you know why just to shame you to say oh I know that person is also from that country oh they're so bad so because that person that you know is bad it doesn't mean that everyone is bad do you see these fingers you see these five fingers well I have a bendy ones they're flexible don't worry but I mean none of the five is the same where are you from thumb where are you from wise finger where are you from middle finger where are you from ring finger where are you from pink you know what I mean but what does it matter they all function they all are part of you and they all are you know like they help you so if I am different maybe I have more knowledge Maybe I'm stronger. Maybe I can help you with stuff. Maybe you can help me with stuff. You know what I mean? You don't understand now where I'm going with this story, right? Okay, let me make it easy for you. What I want to say is, people, they always ask where you're from, where you're from, just to shame you. Not all of them, of course, not all of them don't get attacked, but most on social media mm, let me rephrase it on social media most of the people ask where you're from so that they can go and talk about you bad to their friends to their uh, relatives etc oh did you see that Somali girl on TikTok she was dancing she was shaking her booty oh my goodness she put us all on shame why does one person bring a whole tribe in shame because she is doing something that she likes or what he likes or they are comfortable in their lifestyle and they want to show the world what, how they're living because maybe 
that person doesn't have enough confidence about their lifestyle and they want agreement from the society and then that society well the same people like where they are from go and bash those out and insult them and put them in a in a corner like the bad ones the bad ones why i know for our community the muslim community 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 what the heck what's wrong with me let me take a sip i think i need to drink This is good. Mm. Well, in our community, the Muslim community, we are very well known with our judgmental judgments. Yes. Well, I try to not judge because I didn't create anyone. I didn't create nothing. You know, I didn't give you life. I didn't do anything. So who am I to judge? I'm a human being like you. When you cut us open, we're all the same. So, but those who are judging, they think they are doing something good. You're not. Let me break it to you, honey. You're not doing anything good because look, you are shaming that person in public. It makes you a sinner as well, you know that. Mm -hmm. You are sinning as hard as she's sinning or he's sinning because you're shaming that person in public. But, if you meant well and you wanted to help that person then you could say differently or private or you would find a way you know if it was your intention genuinely to help that person you will find a way but no because you felt the need because that person is from let me say Somalia Morocco or Turkey and she's different than you and what you raised with or whatever it doesn't mean that you have the need or audacity to go and shame that person. Why? Because she's the, from the same country, but, but she's not the same. She's not raised the same as you. What I want to say is like, when people ask me where I am from, not everyone, no, not everyone, but those those judgmental people, I can feel them by the way. When they come with a question, I already know what they mean by that. Or when they ask, are you Muslim? And they see you have a veil on your head. No, I just do it for fun. Where do you wanna go with your question? Huh? Where do you wanna go with your question? When they ask like, are you married or do you have kids? Okay. Those question is no problem. I understand they have interest. They want to know what kind of person you are. So what, what kind of person they are interacting with. You know what I mean? But where are you from? Some people that ask because they want to know. It's okay. But those who ask where are you from? And then, ah, you are ashamed for the whole continent. What? One person. Shame for whole continent. Why? Because she's doing something, like I said, our fingers are not the same. They're not the same, you know, we are different. We have, our body's not the same. Our, he, he, did you know that this half and this half is not the same? So, start judging yourself then. Oh, you're different than this one. Why are you different than this? Oh, I'm not complete. We're not perfect. We are not perfect. And now I, I... I went off subject again. <laughs> Let me go back to the subject again. Okay, where are you from? Um, <clears throat> where I am from. It bothers me a lot when people ask me, where are you from? Because to be honest, I, I don't know myself. And you will understand what I mean by that when I tell you another story. Because I'm a girl who was born in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, raised in Yemen and Somalia. I am myself originally half Somali, half Yemeni, or how do you say it? Somali and Yemeni mixed, how it mixed, yeah. It's a long story from my grand-grandpa and stuff, and grandma. Anyway, so when I was in Somalia, people doesn't see me as a Somalian. They don't see me as them. They see me as the Arab. But yeah, you know, 
and every country you have also racism within you know what i mean like oh this is this and this is this and this is that so i don't care i don't mind about that so it's the main question do i feel home in somalia no i i'm not accepted there okay I'll, i used to live in yemen as well do i feel accepted in yemen no because when you're there they're like oh those waria waria, those Somalians, those Somalian, this, that, and that, and that. So, people treat you already wrong. You know what was worse in Yemen? Worse, the worst thing in Yemen? Like, they don't dare to do stuff like that to their own people, but they do dare to do those stuff to the Somalian, the Eritrean, the Sudanese, the people who are not originally Yemeni, Yemeni, like real, real asli Yemeni. You know when, when you go in the in the buses there the buses is weird like chair and taps like a little bit open in the back in holland you don't have it <laughs> the men they are dirty disgusting you know they put their hand underneath the chair to touch the woman's ass what the hell so disrespectful so are we safe there no especially when you're a woman <laughs> you are nowhere safe to be honest yeah because if you're a little bit lost and uh, they see you're lost, <laughs> done, it's over. Uh, but this is a story for the next week. My almost kidnapping story. I was seven years old and there was those Yemeni guys. They found me on the street because I was lost. I didn't know where I was home. I lost because I went to the shop to buy something. But I will tell you the story next week, inshallah. Anyway, do I feel home there? No. In Saudi Arabia, they... <laughs> Let me not start about that. As a child, I was not allowed to go to school because I am not Saudian, or I don't know how to call it, whatever, how you call it. I live in Holland for 20 years now. Do I feel home here? <laughs> it's a question. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, to be honest. But I feel more home here than all the other places that I went. But I think also because I've, uh, I, I am raised here, I came here by the age of 12 and now I'm 30 plus. So I mostly grow up here actually. So that's why it feels more home. But still, I get that question. Where are you from? And when, when you upset someone or that person doesn't like your look and they go, like, ah, rot of you. Hey you, fuck off, go back to your country. What are you doing here? Excuse me? I just took my passport out and I was like, what does it say? Dutch, right? Okay, I'm here, I'm in my country. So you move. Anyway, it's annoying that people just, because you look different, you get treated different. But they don't see that you can teach them something as well. Because you have more knowledge, because you have another knowledge, plus the knowledge that you have from here, you have also your own knowledge. It's double knowledge, it's extra, it's actually positive, it's good, you know? People have to see it that way. Like, okay, oh, you're different, nice. Teach me some of yours. You know, like, build things together. Like your fingers are holding your hand, and, and I mean like, your hand is holding your fingers, they are all different. But they're all f working together. For example, the pink and the, and, and the thumb they doesn't say, I don't want to work with you because we're not the same. No, they're not. So, for me, when someone asks me where I am from, I get an anxiety. No one knows that, actually. And I said it now here out loud. Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, I said it. It's out. Because I cannot explain where I am from. If I tell them I'm Yemeni and Somali, who's Yemeni, your dad or your mom? Both are mixed as well. I'm just from Holland. Enough. That's it. I'm tired. You know, actually, because where, where I am from, it doesn't give you, you know, extra credit or beneficial or you're going to gain something from it. No. Because you can gain something from me as a person. 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 As a person. Okay. You can gain something from me as a person. I can help you with things that you don't know. I can open your mind, tell you stuff that I know that I've been through, 
you know, what you never imagined in your life. Like, for example, when I tell my friends, I saw, I see a ghost. I can't see ghosts. They're like, what? No, oh, the ghost doesn't exist. No, this is impossible. How can you say something is impossible? What I saw with my own eyes. I saw it. So I know it does exist. I believe in it. I saw it. <laughs> you know, like, that is bad. Just accept. You know, if you would accept each, what, uh, one another, no one will ask you where you're from or what. what. They will ask you, what is your talent? Oh, can you help me with that? Oh, I have this. I can help you with that. You know, more interactive. I'm out of my world guys I don't know this weather is making me like oh it's snowing so anyway guys um next that was actually my story of today and if you th if you have the same struggle as me let me know in the comment below because my struggle is why do people always ask where you're from and if you have the answer for me put it down in the comment please comment down and if you have the same problem like me like that you are tired of these questions let me know well guys that was my story for today i hope you like it and inshallah inshallah i'll see you next week it's ramadan by the way next week da, 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 da. next week is ramadan guys i'm ready for it are you ready for it so i wish you all ramadan mubarak and inshallah see you next week with another story happy aka mimi is out <laughs> Yes. Hi guys, it's your girl. It's Wednesday, Wednesday story time. Wednesday. I always have problems saying Wednesday within this little bit of Wednesday. Yes. <laughs>